Well, today we're working on the uh, tongue for the trail. This is the tongue, obviously sideways. On here is a uh, ancient seven eighths coupler. Okay, I've already upgraded everything on this trailer, including the hitch on the car that I towed with. Okay, so I went to uh, went to the store, bought a two inch, which is thirty five hundred pound. This was only two thousand two thousand pound two hundred pound tongue weight. So. I went to Harbor Freight. We waited outside for a half hour and then they let us in one at a time at the Harbor Freight. So I still didn't figure out. Then right when they were, you know, I was at my turn to get in, they opened up the doors to everybody. So I'm gonna change this coupler out. This one was welded on, I gotta grind it off. The other one I'll probably put some weld and then run the bolts through it when it's all said and done. So, let me get cutting and grinding and hacking and welding. Well, we got half of it ground off. The object isn't to destroy the tongue, it's to destroy this. So I'd rather leave the weld on here and then come back and trim it nicely. Rather than hack into this, then you have nothing to really weld to. But we got half of it off, as you can see. And we'll work our way around to the other side. On another note, today's Halloween. But... I mean, we get a lot of kids. Our block is a mile long, and it's one of the only blocks in the area because it was built so late that has sidewalks. Okay, you know, they voted the sidewalks in when they built this block. Still 1958, but still. With all the down trees, they're bringing the kids by the car loads and just dumping them on my block. They announced that they were going to do Halloween on Saturday, so my wife took the candy to work. So I just ran out and bought the four smallest bags I could find for $26. And I'm bombarded. You know, it's it, I came home when I started this, which is about 25 minutes ago. And I'm already down three bags. So this isn't going to go well. So, But other than that, let me finish grinding this off. I feel bad for the kids, but if they come back a little later, I'll have another billion candy bars. Or I'll have a billion candy bars. Well, that's it. That's what I came up with. Um, I wasn't going to weld this thing on. Not with the lip it had here, and I had a weld, and I uh, just wasn't going to deal with it. I wanted to be able to take it back off. Um, they give you eight bolt holes, or four bolt holes in reality. Through bolt, through bolt, I'm assuming. Through bolt, through bolt. But the way I did it was, is I clamped this in my vise, through bolt of this, because in reality, this tube's just going to collapse. So this could loosen back up. These right here are nuts and bolts, and this is a nut and bolt. If you look up there. So this way I'm actually pinching on the metal here, and pinching on the metal there, and pinching on the metal there. The tube's not going to collapse this way and this way like it did in the back. Because you can see, this was touching. It bowed up slightly. Here, I can't get my hands up in there. And... It lines up in a bad area on the bottom, so I think I'm just going to skip it. The load is this way. So, what that will actually do, who knows. So, I think it's going to take more than I got to tear this off. I pictured a couple of failing before what I bolted it onto. So, now i got to get this back on. This was actually an original swing out, uh, swing tilt tongue trailer. And I originally took three feet off the original tongue to shorten it to a normal length tongue. That's why this stuff's still here. Which I'd like to eliminate totally. I don't like to rely on that thing for nothing. So what I'm probably going to do is put the tongue back on here with a nice fresh grade 8, not grade 8, at least a grade 5 bolt. And somewhere in the other vicinity put a second bolt. So I'll have bolt the bolts plus this thing. And I don't know if you guys seen the trailer. It is sandwiched between C channel and then it's got the V tongue. So it's plenty strong, especially at that length. The V ends right here. So I ain't ripping that off. <laughs> so that's it. We got to clean up the mess in here now. Got stuff everywhere. You know, we stack stuff here during the storm. So, well, I can't go out there and put it on there now. It's Halloween still, and we ran out of candy an hour ago. So I'm waiting for my wife to get home with the rest of the candy. Like I said, our block is a mile long. We normally get trick-or-treaters from other blocks, but this is unbelievable. 
and I love Halloween. They're coming from miles around to come down our block because we have no trees down and we have sidewalks. So they're hitting the you know they're hitting the door at 25 you know kids at a time, and we got just bombarded quickly. And like I said, I just bought some filler candy to fill in for the fact I left the candy in my wife's car. So. As soon as she gets home in a little bit, we'll have candy to give out again. Right now, I just feel like a heel. But there's nothing I can do. So, and yes, this is th day three of no work. I went by my job today. Uh, they still have no power. I've gone online to Lipa.com, where they show you all Long Island, or Nassau and Suffolk County of Long Island. They don't show you uh, the five boroughs. And you can click on certain areas and they'll tell you how many people are affected. And as of last night, it was 895,000 people or something like that. And if you click in where I work, it shows five residences affected. So, and it says no crew, you know, deployed or whatever, however they were. To, and you can actually see where the crews are on Long Island working. And there's none nowhere near where I work. <laughs> so... They're thinking they're gonna have power tomorrow, but I'm not thinking the same. You know, they're going after areas that are affecting two and three thousand people at a clip, not five. So, but hopefully, you know, work is always good. Not that we'd have any customers, but work is always good. So, with that, I'll probably give this thing a little bit of paint, and I'll toss it on the trail. <coughs> I'll toss it on the trail tomorrow after work or if I don't have work because I need this baby for this weekend the lake compounds